So let's go ahead and look at creating the glass. And very simply, the glass is just going to be a plane. Now you could do a separate object for each pane of glass for each mullion, but I'm going to be smart about my objects and to minimize the amount of polys in my scene, I'm literally just going to create one line that's going to go the entire length of my object. And you don't have to get specific about exactly where it is. Again, this is just for visuals. And so it's important to be smart about how you're modeling your scenes. Okay, so there's my glass. Now to make it render correctly, first we're going to add an extrude. Again, let's go ahead and add that extrude by 8 feet and 8 inches. There's my class. 8 feet, 8 inches. Okay, there's my glass. Now to have it render correctly, we need to add thickness to our glass. And typically I work with glass that's a quarter of an inch thick. We're going to add one of my favorite modifiers. It's a shell modifier. Another trick you can do is if you click on your modifier and you type the name of the modifier if you know it, it'll hunt it down and it'll find it. So let's click shell. Right now it's defaulting to one inch. We're going to make it a quarter of an inch. So we're going to say 0.25 and there's my glass. 